to get ready. But once they take the floor, they're one single unit. Ah, that's beautiful. A view of the stunning and historic City Hall. Welcome, everyone, to our broadcast here in Philadelphia. Welcome, everyone, to the NBA on 2K Sports. And tonight, it'll be the San Antonio Spurs going up against the Philadelphia 76ers here in Wells Fargo Center. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Kevin, thanks. Last season, some people called on Joel Embiid to be more aggressive. The process accepted that with humility, saying, I want to be great, and it's only right for people to expect me to drop 35 a night. At the same time, he said, I'm not a selfish player. If the defense double teams me, it's about making the right play. Kevin? David, he is showing that maturity. Thanks for that report. And powering into the first week of the new year, here's a brand new look at the power rankings. They're moving on up, fourth spot in the rankings this time around. And San Antonio, they've started out slow. It's not for a lack of want to. It's just the way the roster is composed. They have as many questions on that roster as they have answers. A look at the San Antonio Spurs opening lineup. Murray out there with White. Then it's DeRozan. Then there's Rudy Gay. And it's Pirtle in at the center, filling out the middle. And for the 76ers, Harrison and Bede together in the middle. Simmons is out there with Curry. And it's Thibel in at the small forward. But we've seen some head coaching changes, Greg. We're early in the season. How long does it take to fully implement, do you think, a, a new system with a new coach? You know, it's a tough question, Kevin. It really can, can depend on how difficult or complicated the system is. But all things being equal, the, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. The San Antonio Spurs able to put the first points up on the board. And Harris wide open. He shoots, and Embiid is right there. Oh, you better know where Embiid is. I mean, when you lose sight of him, he'll kill you on the board. Pass to game. Over Harris. Here's Pirtle. Good D by Embiid. And Embiid has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. And the pass to Thibel. Rebounded by the Spurs. Here's White. It's hauled in by Harris. He usually takes advantage of D like that. Should have been a simple layup. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. White goes in, and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And Philadelphia gets called for the foul. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? First one falls for him. And both free throws good for White. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Harris outside. And the layup's good off the glass. Uh, not just the jump shoot. The Harris is also comfortable looking to score from these spots, too. Spurs have gone just one of four to get this game started. Simmons against Murray. Pirtle score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. 76ers have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. 
here's Harris. And Pirtle sends it back. And, and you got to give appreciation to how Pirtle punishes shooters. A dynamite shot blocker with impeccable timing. Here's Feibel. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Out to Harris. Outside, Simmons. Lock at six. Passes to Embiid. San Antonio with the rebound. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. You know, those road games are tricky, but, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Well, staying with your game plan is so important, especially when you are away from your home arena. And you watch the Rosen play. He still has that explosiveness. Great first step out of the triple threat position. Can switch directions on the go. Is still a handful to slow on the perimeter. Spurs have gone three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. Murray, the pass to DeRozan. Back to Murray. White trying to get open. Murray, no good. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Pass to Embiid. Now Thibel. Embiid trying to break loose. They retain possession and gets hacked by the D. He'll go to the line. And there's no question when Embiid is healthy, he's a problem. I mean, a versatile, confident big man with a high ceiling. Greg, with the explosiveness you talked about with DeRozan, it helps that he finishes so well when he gets to the rim. And maybe not what he once was, but he is still an elite level athlete. Doesn't only have to drop the hammer when he gets to the rim either. Very smooth at adjusting mid-flight to finish at the rim. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And it's crazy to think how soft a touch Embiid has on his shot. Uh, the league rarely sees a guy with his size have such a rhythmic form shooting. Yeah, and Embiid has always been comfortable shooting outside. Not the best percentages from deep, but enough to keep defenders honest. His touch shows up most when he goes into his post fade. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. You know, Greg, we can all agree that Joel Embiid's a superstar in the league with his play, but you get the feeling he's the most criticized superstar in the league right now as well. You know, pundits and fans have questioned his fitness, his fit, but at the end of the day, he does get it done, and the numbers speak for themselves. Embiid's an outspoken guy which can invite a lot of criticism. That's all you have to do. Throw it in Simmons' general direction. He'll take care of the rest. It's DeRozan with the drive. Bertle's shot is off. Philadelphia leading by three. Here's Simmons. He goes up again. Gay with the block. And Gay has put a ton of work into his defense over the years. Specifically, it's how he times blocking those shots. And Murray's got the ball here for the San Antonio Spurs. Gay outside. Back to Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And guys, it's clear, though, he enjoys showing off his athleticism. The D can't give him these opportunities. So it's Philadelphia now. After the basket by San Antonio. And slam dunk by Harris. And look how committed Harris is when he's sprinting to the hoop. Not many defenders are going to want to get in his way when he's that intense. Now here's Gay. He picked up 18 points in the last one against the Wizards in Washington. And how about the job he did rebounding as well, guys? I mean, just a dominant performance on the glass. 76ers have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. And Simmons kicks to Kirk. Pass to Embiid. With the fadeaway. And Pirtle pulls it down. pirtle has got four rebounds now tonight. DeRozan finds Gay. Oh, good interior offense. Those passes have to be right on target. And here are the 76ers now. 
they are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. In that one, they owned the backboards. Most of the second chance opportunities went to them. Yeah, and if you can be that much better on the glass, you're going to win the game. The pass to Embiid, just five to shoot. Here's Curry with the three, and Pirtle sends it back. And he gets it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. And Philadelphia making a change here. Howard's checked in. San Antonio also making some changes. Johnson comes in for Derek White. That's Mills in for DeJounte Murray. San Antonio trailing here. And Mills kicks to Johnson. Gay against Howard. Mills passes to Gay. And it's sent back by Howard. Howard, one of the most feared rim protectors in the league. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Embiid, no good. Oh, that's one of the few times they'll get away with leaving him that wide open. And here's Mills from the arc. That shot off, so Philadelphia will take it the other way. They're getting their first look of the season at San Antonio in this one. And last season, they made short work of this club. Two games, two wins. It makes sense. I mean, when you look at where they both finished, there's a reason one team was in the playoffs and the other one was... Uh, on vacation. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. Hills with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Gay. No one on him, and he makes the easy one. Oh, really? Gay looks so smooth taking that shot. His form simply could not be better. Pass to Embiid. Harris outside. Howard, the pass to Embiid. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And it's sent back by Howard. Now the 76ers on the break. Harris has got the ball. He just can't find the touch this quarter. He, he's got to keep grinding, though, and looking for the best shot possible. And finished off by DeRozan. And he just glides to the hoop on his drives. DeRozan's got plenty of force to his game. Don't get me wrong, but he makes everything look so effortless. Here's Simmons after the basket by San Antonio. Murray finds Embiid. Over Pirtle. Embiid, no good. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This is unlike him. And he knows it. the best thing they can do is try to get him more easy looks. And guys, he's been a pro for a long time. DeRozan still with the hops to flush. And boy, does he get up quick. And it's the 76ers with the ball. After the basket by San Antonio. Pass to Howard. Embiid inside. Hurdles there. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist by Curry. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Harris against DeRozan. And DeRozan throws it down. And you've seen the growth in DeRozan as a ball handler. They're making the right decision in the pick and roll. The 76ers trail by three. And Philadelphia decides to take their first time out right here. Greg, you've always said to have a winning team, you need franchise players. Talk about the specific qualities you look for in those superstars that can catapult a team to greatness. It's a great question, Kevin. Uh, talent really isn't enough. You know, whether you lead vocally or by example, uh, the agenda has to be winning, and your best players really define who your team is going to be. So the franchise caliber player is a much-needed asset. Here's where Philadelphia is going with right now. Bradley's check in for Embiid. Green comes in for Harris. And it's Shake Milton in for Curry. Now here's Simmons. He had 19 points in the win against New York. Mills with the steal. Left side, DeRozan. 
Miles passes to Bissell. Johnson in the corner. Pass to Bissell. Just four to shoot. Back to Johnson. From deep. And the rebound goes to Howard. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. That is his first foul of the game. Korkmaz checked in for the 76ers. The 76ers trail by three. Now, Milton. His last outing, he had eight points. Outside, green. No good. That would have tied it. Here are the Spurs with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Up top, Mills. Defended by Milton. DeRozan against Bradley. DeRozan's shot is off. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. That'll be his second foul of the game. On the wing, Green. The pass to Korkmaz. Shoots over Mills. A rebound by the Spurs. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Bissell, the pass to Mills. He dishes it to DeRozan. And finished off by DeRozan. And you want to talk about high volume scores. Just look at what DeRozan's doing tonight. He's been on a mission, putting his mark on this game in a big way. Here's Green after the basket by San Antonio. Passes it to Milton. We've got 118 left here in the opening quarter. And Howard has it in the corner. Here's Korkmaz, covered by Mills. Korkmaz, no good. Spurs leading by five. Tries a three. DeRozan's shot is off. And there's the foul. It's on Trey Lyons. That's his first foul. And it's Bradley with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, here's Milton. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And you can see they're struggling from the field. Poke loose. Trying to end the drought. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. The Spurs making a switch here. Walker's checked in. Thirty seconds left here in the first quarter. Now here's Milton. D right on him. And a fast break now for the Spurs. And it's sent back by Howard. And here is Milton. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Nine seconds left to play in the first quarter. Out to the wing. Here's Walker. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's DeMar DeRozan making highlights for the San Antonio Spurs. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And we spoke with Joel Embiid earlier. He hopes to set an example for those who want to follow in his footsteps. Being from Africa, uh, at the end of the day, you come here, you want to make an impact and, you know, share your story with everybody. Uh, and so he kind of pushes everybody back home in the whole continent to want to do the same thing. Well said. Certainly, Greg Embiid puts himself front and center, willing to lead the cause on and off the floor. And this is where his big personality helps. He has a larger-than-life quality that really just captivates people. 
And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Spurs? I mean, offensively, I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball. And defensively, boy, were they disrupted. Great balance of efficiency and intensity, which is why they hold the early lead. Take a, break. a moment now Take to reset break. the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Taking a look at the 76ers, they've got Shake Milton. Bradley is out there with Howard. Then it's Green, and it's Korkmaz in at the three, the small forward. And you talk about the perfect veteran wing player. Danny Green's right at the top of that list. Solid defense, good shooter, and plays within himself. Both free throws, good from Green. And Greg, the experiences that Danny Green has had over the course of his terrific career, uh, it's hard to match. I mean, he's won multiple titles in his career, done so in different places with different types of teams. He's seen it all and knows what it takes to succeed. Walker's shot is off. His interior scoring is one of the things that drives their offense. Don't expect him to miss many at all. Korkmaz, no good. Spurs leading by three. The tray. The offensive rebound. Johnson, the pass to Lyles. Second chance shot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. The Spurs shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. That one misses. Craig, you were a physical, defensive-minded player. What are your thoughts on how closely the game is called now as opposed to when you play? It, it is, Kevin. And, and, yeah, some people like the physicality of the era I played in. But, you know, I like the beauty of the game with the spacing and the freedom of movement. And I think that's one reason why you see so much switching. It's hard to fight through screens without fouling. And ball handlers have become experts at drawing contact even if it's, you know, incidental. And I think that's just an area where the game has changed so much that that ability to play in space is so vital. And San Antonio has possession. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Howard in the post, covered by Lyons. Now, here's Milton. Not a lot of room. Good. They are just killing him on the interior. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for San Antonio. Next up for them, the Knicks, a road game in New York. That's game four of four out on the road for them. They get it again. That gives them the lead. Howard's got his first two points of the night. It's a battle boxing Howard out. Too big, too strong. Murray outside. And it's Murray with the jam. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stop. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Here's Milton after the basket by San Antonio. Lobbed up there for Green. And I don't care what his size is. You cannot forget to box him out. He's just got a nose for the ball, and he is fearless in attacking the glass. Aston Murray. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And it's sent back by Howard. Shot clock at five. Pass to Vassell. Here's Johnson, and there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Now a chance to take a look at some numbers for DeMar DeRozan. And something has really clicked for him at the free throw line. In the past five games, his percentage at the line is much better than it had been prior. Sometimes that's how it works. A switch flips, and all of a sudden, you're locked in. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Embiid comes in for Dwight Howard. And Matisse Thibel subbed in for Korkmaz. Here's Walker. 
finished off the break. Walker's got his first points of the game. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. And the wide open shot from Green. The 76ers again can't hit it. The Spurs have gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, a look at Lonnie Walker, the 18th pick in that 2018 draft. He's being brought along slowly as the team loves his potential. But he has a lot to smooth out with his game. First free throw is good. Ray, you talk about the upside with Lonnie Walker. This team loves his athleticism. You know, not the typical Spurs-type player we've seen targeted in the past. Uh, an athletic maniac who can fly end to end. The polish to his game will come. It's just going to take some time. Tobias Harris has checked in for the 76ers. Ben Simmons comes in for Shake Milton. And so Walker nails both of them. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Simmons passes to Embiid. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. It's hauled in by Gay. San Antonio leading. Here's White. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And they repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. The 76ers have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shafts to find the mark. Four of nine all told. Harris kicks to MB. Simmons against Walker. They kick it out to Green. Simmons passes to Fiber. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Fiber's got six points. Uh -uh, look, I love how Simmons makes his teammates better. He's consistent at looking to get them going. Now the pass to Vassell. Pirtle with the ball. Another one falls for San Antonio. And the soft hands of Pirtle on display there just has such a nice stroke from the mid-range. The 76ers trail by three. Simmons dishes to Embiid. Here's Green. He has six. Back to Embiid. Green breaking loose. And Pirtle sends it back. Outside, Walker. Passes it to Vassell. Over Thibel. The 10 footer finds the target. Vassell's got the lead up to five now for San Antonio. Outside, Simmons. Pass to Harris. He kicks it to Embiid. Down to five on the shot clock. Doesn't get it to drop for him. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. And stolen by Thibel. Here's Green. Finished off the break. Green's got eight points here in this quarter. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Pass to Pirtle. Back to Walker. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Six points for Walker. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. The 76ers trail by five. There's the pass to Harris. Embiid, the pass to Thibault. San Antonio with the rebound. Pirtle's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. 
and finished off by Gay. And check out the hops from Gay. Just throw it up to him, and he'll take care of the rest. And so Simmons will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Green bounce pass. Simmons finds Harris. Now, here's Kleiber. Light covering. He's been cold, and it's been hurting him. The D, I mean, was ready for him. He hasn't been able to solve it. Here's Gay, and then Gay with the dunk. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, it feels like they're just one step ahead right now, looking to build out their advantage even further. Philadelphia's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Passes it to Harris. Over Gay. Harris, no good. His touch has been off tonight, and, and, and now his judgment is off, too. I mean, come on. That's not a smart shot. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And now a chance to see what's coming up for Philadelphia. On Wednesday, they'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. Then on Friday, they'll be matching up against Kyle Lowry and the Toronto Raptors. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. And he knocks down the first one. Chris, today's coaches have a different way to get through to their players compared to some coaches of the past. Well, yeah, I, I think, you know, this culture is different. Uh, guys don't want to be yelled at uh, when they're giving their all. They want to try to find uh, a solution instead of getting emotional about it. So I think, yeah, the emotional aspect of some point has been alleviated and I think guys want to enjoy going to work every day and having a, a boss that they can discuss and figure it out with. I don't think the NBA is, is any different. Now here's Simmons and you know the points will always be there for him. He's averaging just a shade under 20 points a game right now. Bible finds Simmons. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. Oh, a tremendous strength. I mean Simmons is a rock solid scoring option around the rim. Mills passes to DeRozan. Back to Mills. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Now here's DeRozan. Tight defense on him. From outside, off the mark. The 76ers trail by nine. Here's Feibel again with the block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. And stolen by Simmons. And Curry with the clear path to the hoop. That one drops for him. Curry's got his first bucket of the night. And made possible by a heads-up play defensively at the other end. Outside DeRozan. Pirtle kicks to Mills. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And Mills in the NBA for over a decade now, GA, but he still has incredible speed that's key to his game. And Kevin, with Mills, that end-to-end -end speed doesn't get shown off too often. In the half court, though, he does a great job of creating looks for himself, accelerates off of screens, can still leave a defender in the dust when he turns it on. First free throw is good. Marie's checked in for San Antonio. And both free throws good for Mills. The 76ers trail by nine. Simmons with it. He's got six. Here's Embiid. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Superb focus from the big man. Embiid, I mean, you really have to whack him to prevent the buck. Philadelphia shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game.
Sosa. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's the most subtle moves that make the biggest difference. Well, you know your low post players are going to take a lot of trips to the foul wall. So it helps to have big men who can drain free throws like this group can. Number one is Joel Embiid. Second, Rudy Gay. And a lot of these big men take the confidence they have in the paint straight to the free throw line with them. I mean, that makes them very hard to handle. Yeah, because you know if you're going to be spending the majority of your time in the paint, you're going to get to the line a lot. So it serves you well to hit your free throw. And when Pearl sees one of his guys wide open, he whips it his way. He's all for doing what's best for the team. And Simmons has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. Pass to Embiid. Now Curry. 14 points from him the last game against New York. Five on the clock. There's Embiid. Pass to Thibel. Mills with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Murray's got it. Game with it. Out guarded by Simmons. Murray surveying the D. Rudy Gay on the wing. Shoots the three. No good on the shot. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Murray against Simmons. Bible, the pass to Embiid. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. Here's Mills. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Throw good. Mills. Some changes for Philadelphia. Howard's checked in for Joel Embiid. Bradley comes in for Harris. And it's Korkmaz in for Matisse Thibel. Trey Lyles checked in for San Antonio. And both free throws good for Mills. Here's Simmons. He's got six. Outside Curry. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his fourth assist in this one. Oh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Now here's Murray. Eight points for him. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Dwight Howard. Way to attack there and then create the contact. He shot two free throws in the game, made one, and missed one. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And the first one drops. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Simmons. And San Antonio also making a switch. Johnson's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. There's 126 left to play in the first half. Curry looking it over. 
Now here's Milton. He's guarded by Johnson. A shot by Milton, no good. San Antonio leading by 10. Here's Mills. Drops in the layup for two. Mills has got six points in the quarter. But when you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. And there's the pass to Bradley. Philadelphia moving the ball around. High post, Howard. Lyles there. Howard kicks to Kirk Moss. Back to Howard. And out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. San Antonio's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Passes it to Lyles. 27 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Six to shoot. Here's Gay. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. There we go. One on one. That is good. And the Spurs lead is cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Curry. Now here's Murray. He's got eight. Pass to Mills. Up in time. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs going into the break with a 10-point lead. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. And we'll be right back after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. DeMar DeRozan brought his A game early tonight. He had 12 points. It's hard to believe that LaMarcus Aldridge started in the NBA at the age of 21. Now a decade and a half later, he's still a real talent in this league. He, guys, he's, he's not slowing down. Kenny, Ernie, you know what the best ability is? Um, how about reliability. You are so smart. All just shows up every day and performs. Ernie, you're the smartest guy I know. Well, he has a great face-up game, which most guys before in the first game did not have. Now, he's automatic from 20 feet, expanding his range to three-point range as he gets older. Always reliable analysis from YouTube mugs. Thank you. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. A fantastic game from DeMar DeRozan so far. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And, and as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? You keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. The 76ers trail by 10 on the floor for San Antonio. We've got White. Rudy Gay is out there with DeRozan. Then there's Murray. And it's Pirtle in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Curry over to the left wing. Just five on the clock. Here's Embiid. DeRozan with the rebound. DeRozan's got rebound number five here tonight. The feed to White. That one doesn't drop. Curry with some nice D. Philadelphia shooting 33% for the night. That's a big thorn in their side right now. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Now here's Murray. Back to DeRozan. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And if you go over the course of his career, 
DeRozan has increased his trips to the line. I mean, thanks in large part to getting more aggressive offensively. Shooting two. He makes the first. And so he hits both. The 76ers trail by 10. Simmons passes to Kerr. Now Embiid defended by Pirtle. Back to Curry. Let's the three fly. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got 11 rebounds in the game. Down low. Game. And the rejection by Embiid. And, and the wingspan of Embiid, I mean, very effective at using his lift to turn shots back. Great positioning on the putback. Bible's got eight points. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. Back to White. Rebound by the 76ers. But this is not the start they wanted coming out of the break. 0 for 3 so far, and they're not playing with much intensity. Simmons finds Harris. Gay with the defensive effort. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for San Antonio. Eight-point game. Nice hustle there. You can count on DeRozan for this. He works so tirelessly as a scorer. Philadelphia has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Simmons passes to Thibel. And he makes good on the way up. Bible's got four points now in the quarter. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Murray outside. Back to White. DeRozan trying to get open. White, good. Eight points for him. Excellent work offensively to get that shot attempt into a can't-miss area. The 76ers trail by 10. Simmons passes to Harris. Looking to get back on track here, and it's good on the way up. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. And here's White. He's got eight. Here's Murray. Back to White. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And Bede's got his eighth rebound here tonight. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would tonight. Eibel on the wing. He's covered by Gay. Here's Harris. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Harris has got ten. Oh, such an efficient score. You know, if you give Harris these opportunities, he'll punish you from there. Murray outside. Here's Pirtle. Kicks to Murray. Harris against Gay. Pass to DeRozan. Four on the clock. Misses the three. The 76ers trail by six. And it's Thibel in the corner. The three-pointer no good. Oh, man, as good of a shooter as he is, it drives him crazy to miss a wide-open three like that. And it's White missing. 76ers have gone to even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. They grab their own miss. Here's Embiid. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Jakob Pertl. Oh, 
you got to stay down on the shot fake. But I mean, once Embiid has you in the air, the rest is easy. Philadelphia shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. The first one falls. And the 76ers making a change here. Green's check in. And the Spurs making a change here. And MV drops them both. Oh, this is a big fella who has no problems at the foul line. I mean, a very smooth touch on the stroke. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure Coach is going to let them know that. Here's a look at some stats for Purdy. Just an incredible month of basketball. Seventh in blocks. And don't forget, top 20 in the league in rebounds per game. He's got a great nose for the ball. And his ability to patrol the lane is a difference maker for that team. Exceptional timing and, and anticipation. That's why he's a top 10 shot blocker. Now here's DeRozan. 16 points for him. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. 18 points for DeMar DeRozan. Even with the D giving him a lot of attention, he's still finding ways to light him up. The 76ers trail by six. The pass to Harris. And here's Green outside. The shot misses. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. The cell, no good. It's stolen by DeRozan. The teardrop falls in. And now an eight-point Spurs lead. You know, what a warrior this guy is. DeRozan showing how dangerous he is shooting even while under pressure. Philadelphia's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Simmons passes to Embiid. Back to Simmons. That one good for two. Simmons got four points in the quarter. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. And what a factor Ben Simmons is on the floor. Does so much for this team in every facet of the game. He's a triple-double threat whenever he suits up. And sometimes people forget just how young Ben Simmons is, Greg. This is just the beginning for him. I mean, and that's what fans are missing about Simmons, his age. I mean, you can worry about his shot, but he has a long time to figure it out. He could end up having a Jason Kidd type of a career where he becomes a solid shooter later on. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. good from Walker. Dwight Howard. He's checked in for the 76ers. Shake Milton comes in for Green. Johnson, he's checked in for the Spurs. And so Walker nails both of them. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. And Simmons has got the ball here for the 76ers. Trailing here by eight. And Lonnie Walker picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Mills, he's checked in for Walker. Now here's Simmons, covered by Mills. Passes to Howard. Here's Milton. Off target from outside. San Antonio leading by eight to the wing right side. Pass to Purdy. He kicks it to Mills. Pass to Wiles. Back to Mills. Shot clock at six. 
And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. All going up court. Embiid trying to break loose. And Pirtles sends it back. Here's Milton. And three chances on that possession. But they just couldn't find a way to score. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, the defender all over. He's gone three for four from the line. throws good line and some changes here for the 76ers Bradley comes in for Embiid and it's Quirk Moss in for Harris both good from the line that time here's Simmons 10 points for him some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum Howard in the post hurdles there and out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession here's Mills six points for him And there's the pass to Lyles. Pirtle with the ball. Johnson up top, defended by Milton. And it's sent back by Howard. The 76ers trail by 10. Outside, Simmons. Mills with the steal. And that's a couple of very shaky possessions in a row. One turnover right after the other. Yes, that goes in. Love how skilled Pirtle is. So good at getting the ball over to the open team. And Philadelphia has possession. Following the bucket by the Spurs. Spurs leading by 10. Pass to Lyles. Now Mills, taking a look at the scoring numbers right now, he averages about nine points a game. Five to shoot. Makes it off the glass. Mills has got eight points. He'll take advantage of that kind of soft defense every time. Just give him a chance to attack the basket, and he will. The 76ers shooting 41% from the floor so far in the third. Now, here's Milton. Back to Simmons. And Pirtle pulls it down. San Antonio's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Mills can't hit. The 76ers trail by 12. Here's Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. And once Simmons turns on the Jets, there's no stopping him. I love seeing him play with this much confidence. San Antonio calls timeout. And Korkmaz, the Turkish guard, take it at the end of the first round in 2016. Spent a year overseas before joining the NBA and didn't play much early on. But last season he showed he's a starting caliber player. Spurs leading by 10. And here's Mills. He's got eight. Pass to Lyles. Six on the shot clock. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. 
And with Korkmaz standing 6'7", Greg, there's a lot to like. And his size can be a huge advantage in certain matchups, Kevin. Great wingspan also lets him grab a fair amount of steel. Has worked hard to get where he is and still showing room to grow. Howard can't hit. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Oh, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure these two will have a good laugh about it later. The 76ers trail by 10. Here's Simmons. 12 points for him. Milton with it. Uncovered. And the jumper is on the mark. Korkmaz has got four points this quarter. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't constitute defense. Here's the sound. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. And now Philadelphia on the break. And it's Howard finishing it off. And you lob it Howard's way. He'll find ways to finish. That's how talented of a dunker he is. Now Mills. He's got eight. He gets it in there. Mills has got ten points. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. 114 left in the third quarter. Simmons passes to Milton. Feeds to Howard. Over Johnson. And that one goes long. For a player who's almost a sure thing to score in tight, that one's a stunt. Stolen away. Here's Simmons. Here's Milton. And down it goes, jamming that one home. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stop. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. An impressive sequence that has them fired up. Here's the sound. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. It's his first trip to the line. First one at the line is good. Curry's checked in for Philadelphia. San Antonio also making some changes. Rudy Gay's checked in for Perk. Light comes in for Johnson. And it's DeJounte Murray in for Patty Mills. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Curry. He's got six. There's 25 seconds left in the third quarter. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on White. The 76ers have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. down the first one and the Spurs making a change here and both free throws good for Curry wow they've made every free throw here in the second half 
DeRozan surveying the D. Off on the way up. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll get right back to the action when we return. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate, and how about the setup this was? This is the versatility you need to play in today's game. Two guards have to be able to make plays for others. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. We've got Bradley, Matisse Thibault's out there with Seth Curry, then there's Harris, and it's Howard in at center. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia, and he makes that one. Possessing great size at his position, DeRozan's muscular frame allows him to convert through the contact. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Harris outside. to Thibel. A three-pointer off the mark. It's only a matter of time until this three-point shot comes back to him and he knocked down two threes before halftime. Nothing so far here in the second. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. Here's Curry following the bucket by the Spurs. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Six to shoot. Here's Harris. Drains the 19-footer. Spurs leading by eight. Now here's Murray. And the pass to Gay. Trying to break that ice-cold streak. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Oh, man. Over the years, Gay has really perfected his shot thing. Defenders have a tough time not falling for it. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. And when it comes to athletic small forwards, Gay is the cream of the crop. An aggressive player whose reach really helps him on both offense and defense. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Howard. And it's Ben Simmons in for Tony Brantley. The Spurs also with the sub. Myrtle's checked in. Good on the second free throw. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. And Simmons kicks to Harris. Gay with the block. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's White. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, easy call.
shooting two. First one falls for. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. The 76ers trail by 11. And here is Simmons. Passes it to Thibel. To the left wing. Here's Embiid. An easy two points on the layup. What a finisher Embiid is. He's a pro at not letting the defense dictate to him. Last again. Pass to Pirtle. Dishes to Murray. And it's blocked by Simmons. Oh, such a smart defensive player. He knows how to use his reach to alter shots. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. Seventy Sixers have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Embiid kicks to Curry. Embiid against Pirtle. Just five on the clock. Here's Embiid, but he gets it back. Well, that's made a huge difference in this game, if you ask me. Their offensive rebounding has been sensational. Oh, the officials are all over that one. And the first one drops. And MV drops them both. And he's given them a good contribution at the line tonight. Getting there a lot and delivering on his opportunities. Rudy Gay on the wing. And it's Pirtle at the elbow. Shoots over Embiid. No good off the back of the rim. But he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. Good, good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. Thibel finds Curry. Count it. Now that was pretty. A beautiful move to set up that jump shot. San Antonio leading by eight. Right the pass to Murray. Back to White. He doesn't hit that one. Some solid defense from Harris. Outside, Simmons. Here's the lob for Harris. Up high to stop the alley-oop. Well, maybe we all know Harris as a shooter, but he can still get up. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. They've held a 12-point lead early. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on MB. Mm -hmm. 
shooting two. First free throw is good. So one for two that time at the strike. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. And out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. nearby you have to be aware of his vertical he really rocks the rims on these jams Murray against Simmons the pass to Embiid back to Curry shot clock at six and it's Rudy Gay with the rebound Gay's got his seventh rebound here tonight. White fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. One shot. And that one falls for White. Here's Simmons. Passes it to Embiid. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his seventh assist in the game. Now proving how legitimate of a threat he is inside. I mean, once Embiid gets it this close, uh, I mean, it's all been over. Now here's DeRozan. Passed again. Over Thibel. Tries again, and it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. Gay kicks to Murray. But they recover it. And another shot. And it's laid in by Gay. And it's 13 points for Rudy Gay. The 76ers trail by 12. Curry with it. Pass to Harris. Let's it go from deep. Offensive rebound. A nice shot by Embiid. Embiid's got eight points here in this quarter. What amazing strength. Look, I love how Embiid fights his way through whatever the defense throws his way. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. During that break, Greg Popovich really had some strong advice for his team. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. Simmons passes to Harris. High post, Embiid. 
Nice spin off the left rim and in. And Bede's got 21 in the game. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Murray against Harris. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First one falls. And so Murray nails both of them. Now Simmons, they're going to have to make a pretty big comeback here. I think it's be a mistake to let the shot clock in under 10 seconds from here on out. Inside. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Oh, I love it. He's working the ball down low. Always a good plan of attack. Now the pass to Gay. Back to Murray. Fires from deep. Second shot opportunity. Hurdle shot is off, and Rudy Gay picks up a foul. That's foul number two for him. San Antonio making a switch here. Mills is checked in. The 76ers trail by 10. Simmons passes to Embiid. And the 76ers tack on two more. Okay, nice job here in the second half. Field goal percentage is way up from what it was at halftime when it was just barely above 30%. Now, here's DeRozan, and Mills kicks to Pirtle. Right side, DeRozan. Back to Pirtle. Just five to shoot. Took the opportunity when he saw it. And it's six points for Jakob Pirtle. Ever evolving as a passer. DeRozan continues to impress with his ability to find his teammates. And so Simmons will bring it up for Philadelphia. Passes to Embiid. Good. Nice job down low. Coming off a big game. His confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Yeah, and that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. Pass to get. To the middle. Here's Pirtle and the dunk by Pirtle. And look at Pirtle effortlessly dropping the hammer on the D. Now here's Simmons. To the inside. It's good and the San Antonio lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Tobias Harris. And they've really gotten on track here in the second half. After that shaky start, the field goal percentage steadily climbing. They couldn't make anything in that first break. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. He's played with a doggedness and determination. That's how you end up with double-digit boards. And it's sent back by White. And it's good for two. Harris has got eight here in the quarter. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Pass to DeRozan. Back to Mills. There's the three. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got his fourth assist in this one. The 76ers trail by nine. And here is Simmons. The pass to Thibault. Now Embiid. Pocket six. Shoots over Pirtle. And too long on the shot. Spurs leading by nine. Left side, DeRozan. 
At three off the mark. Here's Harris. Count that one. Harris has got 20 points. Oh, well, once again, Harris showing off his incredible physique. Just really blowing past defenders in the open floor. San Antonio calls timeout. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. And now, let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, DeMar DeRozan. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch from the field, flawless. The teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions. And boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. If he could only contribute like this for them every night, you can't overstate how much better it makes this team when he has a game like this. And on the road, no less. Here's Mills. Now the dish to DeRozan. Over Thibel. Game. It's good on the putback. And the Spurs lead by nine. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Simmons against White. There's another block. You've got to have a better effort against him. Sending back everything. Shot clock at three. Here's Curry. And B trying to break loose. Curry can't get it to go. Spurs leading by nine. Light the pass to get. Rebound by the 76ers. Bible's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pirtle with the steal. Rosen dishes to White. 111 left in the game. Gay in the corner. Six on the shot clock. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for the Spurs. If they had to battle for this win, there were times when it looked like it was maybe slipping away a bit, but they never let that happen, which I thought was a real credit to them. And, and that's a product of their mental toughness. Anytime the floor of the game turned against them, instead of caving, they just dialed it up a notch and were able to pull away. And now, for the year, this is going to take them to seven wins. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And a great team effort tonight, helped in large part with contributions, and the nice night it ended up being for DeMar DeRozan. Oh, man, anticipation, instincts, energy, all his tools were on display tonight as he lit the place up. And so it's San Antonio easily taking this one. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. DeMar, big effort tonight. What is the state of mind of this club right now? I'm just we're focusing in on the defensive end. We know if we get stops, we can definitely score whenever we want. And you got it done tonight, DeMar. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long.